Kei te pēhia koutou O ko koe, ko au, ko koe, ko ia Kei ko nei koutou Tātou, tātou Oh, I'm even on time, not bad <laughs> I'm just practicing this waiata today Today, uh, uh, no laughing, but someone bought me some flowers and uh, but they were harakeke, harakeke, and uh, this is them here. I want to share them with you. Too meki, eh? Don't hang around for them either. Woohoo! Te eh? One of the tāne, one of the tāne made them and brought them along to our uh, Te Reo Korowai class and uh, Te no pai. It kind of inspired our mahi for today. So I'm going to use it to kick us off tonight. Mm. And you know the whakatauki, eh? Hūtea te rito o te harakeke. But for those who don't, we'll just do it slowly and we'll warm into it. Hūtea, so when you go and do the gardening tomorrow, huti huti. So pulling it out, hūtea. Hūtea te rito o te harakeke. Back to front Māori say eh? that literally says, pull out the centre of the flax bush. But what it means, what it infers is, if you were, if you were to do that, there'll be a price to pay. Kei here, te komako, e ko. Where will our beautiful bellbirds, e ko, where will they sing from? Te komako, e ko. And as you know, then it goes, um, oh, ki mai kia hau is like, ki mai, ki mai kia hau. And I say to myself, no one else is listening. Ki mai kia hau. I say to myself, He aha te mea nui o te ao. What is important, what's a paramount thing of the world today? And I'll answer myself, Maku e ki atu. Maku e ki atu. He tangata. He tangata. He tangata. A no reira whanau koi nei taku mihi mai oha. Mihi aroha ki a koutou i tēnei pō ahi ahi, a nau mai, hara mai, whakatau mai ki tēnei uh, kōrero, mo tēnei wā poto i tēnei rā. Uh, ki te mihi atu, whakawhiti, whakaaro, whakawhiti kōrero i tēnei kaupapa ki mai, five. <laughs> no reira, kei te mihi. So as you know, I know you all know that one, but um, I, I like that one today because if you can hear in it, you can hear the relevance of, of, of what we're doing here, the key my five. And that's what this is all about. It's about using a whakatauki, the narrative of our tipuna and, 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 and what they left behind. And I don't know, what's your thoughts on that? What is that saying to you? It says a couple of things. Hū tia te rito o te harakeke, kei hia te komako e ko. What is that saying to you? While well, I have a drink, have a think about it. I dare you to type something in there, and I can't, um, and I can see it if you type something, so hurry up. <laughs> okay, I'm looking. Can't see anything coming up there. Okay. Never mind, <laughs> carry on. Okay, so a lot of these things, these narratives, these whakatoki, they like to say, you know, kamate, kamate, kaora, kaora, tamatu, tamanoho, tama, tamamoi, tamamate. There's always like, they got balance. So this one goes, hū te atirito o te harakeke, kei hea te komako e ko. And it's like there's a there's there's got to be a response to that. If you took out the centre of that flex bush, and as one of the bros says today, is that only flex bushes? I mean, good question. I'll leave you to think about it, Fanu. And then the second thing uh, on the second thing it says, and I say to myself, what is the most paramount important thing of the world? One of them today, and I will tell you, tis people. Tis people, tis people. What do you think of that? I can't see anything going now. I just want to know what your thoughts are on it because that's what this is about today, about sharing. Kate the pie. 
Aroha mai if you are putting I'm just going to have a look over here in case you're putting it up. Show. Oh. Show. Oh. Yeah, cool. Sorry about that, guys. Evening. You are well. I uh, hope you are well. This is a good idea to be mm -hmm. able to share ideas. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. I think I think I didn't have the um the chat on Fane. So if you um if you've been chatting and it hasn't come up, try that now. But um I don't know. In short, I think uh, that's the lovely thing about these narratives. Um, it's all up to each person what they think it is, and uh, my shortened version of it is goes, goes like this: If we don't look after that that flex bush or that rito, which is the future. But if we don't look after all of our creations, not only these, if we don't look after nature, full stop, the ozone and everything, the consequences are mankind will perish. So I think it's a call to action. It's a call to action to say, hey, look after, look after that little shoot, uh, that baby shoot of the flax bush. And while you're at it, actually look after everything. And while I'm at it, even look after the children, look after the future generations, or we'll be all up the up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> anyway, that's mine, and uh, until I see you fellas put something up, ten or five. But um, I was having a look here tonight because I sung a waiata for it today. But I had a look, and there's, there's um, you know, these various rangi, different tunes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try this one out. Okay. Fella, stop sending me messages because I'm on. <laughs> Only got one phone. But kia ora anyway, kia ora, kia ora whanau. Actually, I better check that, it might be about our thing. Oh, okay. Kia ora rā niera. Oh, hell. I shouldn't have done that. Where are you? Oh, someone just told me they can't, they can't, um, my producer is not here, show live chat messages, it says now that we can, and I've got one here, so just keep trying, Fano. just keep trying, gonna sing the tune here by one of the Fano from, uh, uh, Takiro Hohua, uh, Te Rangi, and the Fano from the Atarangi, they sing it a different way, and I wanted to try it out, but it goes, Hu tia te rito te harakeke. Kei hia te komako e ko. Uia mai. Kwe ki au. Uia mai. Kwe ki au. Hea ha te mea nui o te au. Maku e kiatu he tangata he tangata he tangata. I know I'm supposed to be the kayako, but if anyone's out there and you got time, have a look in the dictionary and look up uia uia u i a uia uia mai. Just check that out for us, Fano. Anyway, I'll try now. Try not to wreck it, eh? Join in with me. I only just tried to learn it before I come on. Ha ha ha. Utea te rito, rito, o te hara keke, uia mai, uia mai kwe ki au. E aha te mea nui, o te au. Maku e ki atu He tangata, he tangata, he tangata Afi mai whanau, here we go Just uh, just hum the part you don't know Hutia te rito Toru pa Hutia te rito Rito O te hara keke Uia mai koe ki au Hey aha, hey aha, te me nui. 
お手や幕幕へ気圧ヘタガタヘタガタヘタガタ I don't want to stop, help me up We just keep going till we get it right, okay? Come on, we got plenty of time ふてやてりと取るパーふてやてりとりとお手はらけけふいやまいこえきやへやはてめぬいお手やおお手やおまく Heta gata, heta gata, heta gata. Two more times. Only if you sing with me. Come on. Utea te rito, rito. O te hara ke ke. Uya mai kwe kia. Despira. Hea ha te menui. Okay, this is the last time. No fatty this time. I need backup. Are you backing me up? Okay, let's go. Tahi, Ua, Toru, Ba. Utia, Terito, Tito. O te hara keke Uia mai koe ki au He aha te me nui O te au maku Maku e ki atu He tangata, he tangata, he tangata He tangata, he tangata ヘタガタウテアテリトテハラケケケイヘアテコマコエコウイアマイクエキアウヘアハテメアヌイオテアウマクエキアツヘタガタヘタガタヘタガタティヘイマウリオラキョロコトウ Thanks for winging it with me. Is it wing the wrong number? I saw. Kia ora. Kia ora, just found the chat thing here. Awesome, awesome, Sha. Kapai, kapai rani era. Um, hopefully, you can get it going now. And、uh, we just chat. Somewhere there's a chat thing, f a n u And you chat away, you guys. You chat away,、uh, share what you've got to share. And、um, so I don't have to do all the talking, and you can. You can help and contribute, but it's、uh, awesome to see you all. And、um, it, as I say,、uh, one of the bros bought some of these today. I think he'd done a real massive job.、Um, oh, and if he could only see how these are、um, all tied up,、um, all the independent bundles in here, and he's put a lot of effort into it.、Eh? And I was going to say he's not even m o u l d y but he's m o u l d y in the word as in he's true and genuine. But he's doing this for, for his whanau、uh, and his horagatira, she's Māori, and his、uh, te tamariki, and his, and his mokopuna. And his mokopuna. And as you know, that rito, in that context, in the family, that's his mokopuna. So thank you, thank you, people are commenting. I'm just going to grab them as they come. Robert, what's for dinner? Oh, no, what an, what an awesome gift. <laughs> it is too, eh, Ropata? Cool, brother. Cool, yeah, it is an awesome gift. And it was quite, a, quite an awesome gift when one of the Tane brought it. One of the Tane brought it. And I know you guys know all this, but you know I rave on sometimes. And now that I've started, I'm, I'm going to keep going and, and say, well, if that narrative is in a, 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 that fucker Toki is a narrative to, to tell us, you know, it's for, you know, like when weavers, they know, they know when you come to that fan of five, that, that, that's the Rito Baba there. And, That's the afirito, the parents, and then the grandparents, and that's the to tidy up around it and leave that, that, that fan as a generation to grow. But sometimes, as you know, when you turn up there, 
sometimes they do need a bit of tidying up but your way doer you'll know which ones to tidy up but you wouldn't leave the retro standing on their own and you might have to just tidy some up around uh, to protect that, that fan in the middle and it's just protecting that bush that bushel so the um, the bird can come and land on there and somewhere to land and somewhere for the rest of nature to happen and um, eventually the picture sort of like that that rito or one day it might grow up oh you can't see it I'll show you though I'll show you over there you you know what they look like but see over there see my um, harakeke in the corner see those big tall ones see those big tall ones eh and um oh you see one up the top there yeah on the manu and you know eventually um some of them grow up and they have a flower head and you know um i'm sure there's people out there that can tell this better than me but that that one with the flower head it's called the korari uh, it's got many names and different here we have different names but the one i learned was korari and that's like that one there and it has the flowering head and that's what brings the birds uh, to come and suckle on there and the bees and that's what to preserve that preserving nature and they all come and feed off there off that korari because that's the main thing on there otherwise they can't land on the leaf so they land on that but it wasn't until I went and had a look at them and I go man that's interesting and then someone else might be able to help me I don't know how long the lifespan is of that that growth but it's like a spurt and it shoots up you might not have noticed this or you might have but you might now when you go at certain times of the year and they shot up and you'll see all the tui and that on there having a feed on the kōrari hang on someone's complaining kia ora bro about time ngāti tūreiti in the house rāniera thank you rāniera kia ora koto for your comments I can see them but I don't think you can all see each other's I'm trying to save up <laughs> and get another unit on here so um, we can all share and you can see what's going on. But keep chatting away, whānau, and if you've got any whakaaro to add to what I'm saying, chuck it up, chuck it up there and I'll, I'll talk to it. Well, I'll be grateful. He piko, oh, he piko, he tanifa. Yeah, bro. Mm. All these fellas from uh, Tara, uh, the, the Waikato are dropping in. Uh, yeah. I'll call wari wari au i to, um to hapu, not Ngāti Haua. But anyway, like it says, he piko he tanifa, he piko he tanifa. Fellas took over the place. <laughs> awesome. Oh, cool, cool. Kapai Rochelle, you guys can see the comments. Okay, so no swearing at me, you fellas. And next time sing, I know you weren't singing. Thank you, Rochelle. Um, so, back to the um, Ngāti Tipa. Ngāti tipa in the whare. Uh, and uh, in Australia now. So awesome, awesome work you guys. Now that kōrari grows up. And I don't know whānau, I think it's only one season. Please correct me if you know. I think it shoots up in a season. And I mean just in one season, one, uh, one year. And all those birds come. And then when it's served its purpose, like when it's grown its life, that, that kōrari, it goes like what I showed you over there, it goes all black. See the ones in the corner, the tall ones? And then that's when I used to go down and cut them, you see the short ones I got over there? Can you see them? The short ones. And then I cut them and just put them under my chin and use them for, um, you know, poor man's taiha, because I can't afford the taiha, so just do those. And then uh, I've got another one up there and I made a manu. Have a look up there. Can you see it? Yeah. That's tui. Tui ai donga, tui ai raro. <laughs> yeah. But, so when it served its purpose, the kōrari fed the birds and all that. And then, it, it like, like us, like a life cycle, it has a cycle of, of life. And please find out for me. Please tell me someone. I believe, I think it's just a year. And one minute you go there and all the birds are singing, it's like, woo, and it's all go. And then next minute you go back and they're all black and they're all dry like balsa wood. And they just go up to and just go, um, our, our kayako back in the time, his name is um, Peter, Peter Mahaki. Naroto ya tuhoi. 
he used to take us uh, down in Paikakariki for um, Taiaha uh, early in half past four in the morning, make us run around in bare feet. I wondered how we never tripped up and on the skinny track. And he'd tell us to go and get a cacao. And a cacao is like a stalk. And that's it. We go and just go, just go like that. And it'll snap it at the bottom and thing. And then we just take the top off, push, put it under there. And then we got a hoot, hoot, that. <laughs> but no one would get hurt. Only one time when I got a poke in the eye from my brother, from Tristy, I wasn't quick enough. But what I'm getting at is that has a season and a and a life and a and a job to do. And the kōrari and and the birds go there and then those things dry out and the wind tafiti comes and blows those seeds around and, and, and with the birds dropping their their um their droppings I suppose and then the the, the pa harakeke multiplies and multiplies and multiplies just 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 like us too, just like us. And which brings me to that, just like us. That's why the pa harakeke is a um, an analogy of the family unit. You fellas know I've, I've been smoking something, but um, I want to tell you the story because now you've got me going. No complaints? Kapoi. Please comment though. Kapai Fano. I can't make it go away now. Oh, okay, I'm just going to carry on. Picture this, Fano. Picture this. I'm sorry it hasn't got anything to do with the key, my five, but it has really, hasn't it? Because it's about the key. Picture this, Fano. I know you already know it, but I want you to picture this. Back in the day, back in the day, and our people, they're born into, what are we born into? A, a family. But we're born, and let's just picture this, into a pa to watawata, into a, a palisade back in the early days, back in, the, in, in Ngāti Tipa and our, our iwi, back in the iwi and hapu. And they were born, yeah, they were, they were part of a hapu, they were part of an iwi. We weren't called Māori, we were Māori. We weren't even called Māori, we were Māori. We were Tūhoi, we were Ngāti Tipa, we were Ngāti Tū Wharetoa, we were all our respective iwi. And, and, and the, the safety was, was our pā, the word we know today, the pā. Where you go? I'm going down to the pā. And then the pā to Watawata, does the palisades to protect us in there. And just, just like in here, we were protected in the pā. We were born into a pā type of thing, into a Māori pā, a pā, and our pā life, just like this, and our habitat, and everything associated to the pā, and even today, the kaumātua flats, and everything in, inside the pā and outside, it's all part of the pā, not just, just the marae, the marae ātea, the marae is just the new, we say, the, the marae, but the pā is what we were born into, literally. But on the human plane, we were born into a pā harakeke, a family unit. And we grew up in that pā, we grew up in it. And then our people would go down, they also had a pā harakeke, they had a stand of harakeke because that was making our rope and everything. So they'd go to the pā harakeke and they'd work from there. They'd get rongoa, they'd get so much out of it. Out of, out of this, our pew pew, our korowai, our korowai, everything. And then, you know, from this and kia kia and all the different things, the toy toy and all the different stuff. And we all lived in that pa. And we all supported each other in the Māori pa. We lived our life there. And we grew up, we grew up. And now I don't know if anyone has seen this correlation of the words, but we're born into a pa, into a, in the old days, into a Māori pa, but even today we're born into a pa, which is our family unit. Like the kōrari, the kōrari in this context is the mother, and she delivers all those 
beautiful things that a mother delivers to the children and her children. And equally so, she plays her part. And then the kakao, that's the male component, and that's us. And one of our jobs was to tiakina te pā, to look to defend the pā, no matter what. With those things we talked about last week, the haka, the aroha for our people. And our male, our male part was to tiakina te pā, was to look after that pā, whatever the cost, and to contribute to our nurturing the pa and our children and supporting the korari or the mother, the, the maternal and paternal part that we all play in our pa harakeke. It's quite a cool way. And just, just, just like these, I mean their cycle of life, I think it's only one year. But they make a big contribution to the universe, those, 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 those flowers. And our contribution is the same. And like everything that is born, and then it's time to, 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 to go back. It's time to go back ki uh, maioha, go back to whence we, where we came from. But this is the part I want to share with you. When we die, whānau, like, like, like the kōrari, and like this, but, but you know, go down and get you some and it serve a purpose now. I'm going to use them for um, uh, te reo a tīnana, hopefully start at uh, Matariki body language but uh, or lang language in motion but when we die Fano, where do we go to I know don't be cheeky but no we go to the Urupa isn't that awesome we're born into the pa we live our life our whole life in the pa or in that habitat of a family unit or around the marae and then when we when we're finished and we've done our mahi, then we go to the urupa. And I know we all know that, but I'm right into now, I'm right into knowing, yeah, but I want to know, why is it an urupa? Listen, listen to this, it'll help you. And when they bring in the, the waka, the, the coffin up, and it says, Toya mai te waka, ki te urunga te waka. Kite moenga te waka, kite takoto rangai takoto ai te waka. Help me out, Toru Pa. Toya mai te waka, kite urunga te waka, kite moenga te waka. Kite takoto rangai takoto ai te waka. Did you hear that word in there, Fano? Urunga. Toya mai. Bring, pull that coffin over here. Toya mai. Kite moenga. To its resting, the sleeping place. Kite moenga. Kite takoto. To its where the final resting place. And the word is that, urunga, to the resting place. So hence the word, urupa. Born into the pa, live all your life at the pa, then go to the next pa, which is the urupa, the resting place. I don't know if you guys are um, think that's cool, but isn't it a beautiful cycle, uh, or an analogy and picture of, of a life cycle for us on the human plane, just like the pa harakeke. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Well, don't get too excited about it just because I am. But I'll take your word for it. <laughs> cool. Goodbye, fellas. What now? Should we rock on to the um, Kimai 5? That didn't take long for an opening, eh? Feel okay, feel okay. Do make it, bro. Don't want to care, bro. Yeah, just a little story. Um, but this is what I say, Fano. This is the beauty of Tereo 
and, and for me personally, Fano, I don't think you have to be clever or anything. That's what I'm noticing is, is the very simple things under our nose each day. The he, te, me, nga, the aroha, just everything. The hangi, the pa, harakeke. And in each word and in each narrative, there's a beautiful story. And I, I sort of say it's like a blueprint and they've left it for us to discover it. And I tell some of the whānau sometimes, see those stars up there? And I'm po I point to the picture of Matariki. I said, those stars brought us all out here on a log of wood. And they could they can bring us all home again in, in re re respect and regard to all facets of our lives. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care what anyone else running this country or running the whole world for that matter. Um, that's all good, they're doing their bit, but we have, we have a contribution to make. And those analogies and those stories and those narratives, they're pure. You can't even deny it. How cool was that? I didn't even make it up. You can tell that's true. And when you look at Te Reo, it has a lot to offer. And I know that's why you guys are on this journey, um, exploring and doing a journey in Te Reo. So let's come to that. Now, th that was a whakatauki. It says, eh? Ki mai kia hau. You can hear it there. And I say to myself, Ki mai kia hau. Hea hata mea nui o te ao. And there it is again. Māku e ki atu. And I will tell you, tis people, tis people, tis people. Isn't that awesome? What a beautiful language. And, you know, other people might say, Oh, so what? Tell me something I already, I already don't know. But I don't know much. I only know this, but... It's beautiful for me anyway. So this week, oh, I'm just having a look over here to my uh, to my um, producer comes. Uh, let's talk about the kupu ho, the kupu ho that we did on on Rahina, on Rahina. We did kupu ho, eh? Um, and our kupu ho this week just happened to be um, uh, using numbers. And um, they're going to be quite relevant in over the next few weeks. Or, or And if you come to classes, you'll see there's a lot more to be had out of that and by using them. But um, the, the reason I've liked to use it this week is it gives you something basic that you know, like counting to 10. But counting to 10 and getting your sounds right, it's about, it's not that you can go tahirua torufa, it's about just getting your sounds right. And a little bit like doing the karakia challenge, you're just practicing tahi, rua, and not smashing the words out, but putting the aroha, tahi, rua, toru, pa, rima. While I'm at it, we talked this week about, I've said it a couple of times, but I've tried to find a whakapapa for the kupu, for the numbers. I can't find it. Like tahi, mean, tahi, tahi means to dust or sweep the floor, or they, rua. Rua, that's like, um, you know, the, uh, that's like the pits and the caves and the rua. Uh, toru, mata toru, to thicken. And I think, I don't know when those number, that number concept got here. I don't know. Maybe someone can help us. But um, the only word that I sort of get in there was the 10th 110, where they use ngahuru. I get that. I get that. But yeah, just saying anyway. But still. Tahi, rua, toru, pa, rima, ono, and still have aroha for, for the real. Then we put in the, you see uh, from the numbers, and you got four different concepts to work with. Gate the boy. How did you go with that? Raniera, koto, how did you go? Tell me, was it alright? Did you get anything out of it? Or is it like to say, oh, it's too basic? <laughs> no? Well, anyway, I'm not seeing anything there. I'll just cord it all. I'll just keep the cord it all going. Um, yeah, that's what it was about. And being a workout, using those concepts over and over. So that was our kupu ho, using 10, and then adding the different concepts, counting to 10, till you got that fluent, but then when you, I don't know if you noticed, when you add another concept to it on the run or on the trot or in a discussion, how to, how to jump from talking just numbers, 
to volume, uh, to um, people, to counting, to doing the stock take. How many chairs have you got? Kotahi e rua e toru e fa, like that. So hopefully if you didn't have any of that before, hopefully that's given you a bit more of an insight uh, into that. And I know there was only a little bit on uh, what we posted up on the, on the YouTube. But um, hopefully you got your um, PDS last night or early this morning. <laughs> yeah. We'll move on. The kiwaha, just like the whakatoki we just did. Uh, just like the bro just gave us a, a, a kiwaha there, I think. Um, our kiwaha was simple as, um, I think everyone uses it, but our kayako here is from Ngāti Poro, and I think they say that a lot up there, ka te wehi. So we use that and we put it in, in conjunction with doing the, um, the workout, doing the numbers, then we bring ka te wehi, ka te wehi. It was good, um, Maria and I uh, did Nga Te Mea. Where's it going? Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, and those little subtle things, eh? But they make a di big difference. Like I said, when I said to the Komatua, you know, that he was a cup of tea instead of would you like one? And same as that, the difference between seven, fitu, and fitu, and using the macron there to, to and the sounds, the uh, and the e, e fitu nga fitu, <laughs> so yeah, good, good spotting there, Raniera and Maria, auto correct, oh yeah, yeah, auto correct, yes, shot, sure. I need one of those, I need audio shut up, <laughs> shot bro, shot guys, yeah, and are you discovering um, little things for yourselves in what you're doing in writing? The more you write it out, the more you'll discover. Yeah. And enjoy it, whānau, while you can. You're only going to do this once, do this for 10 weeks. And what you take away from this training, it's going to um, hold you in good stead for any other stuff you do from now on. But we're just starting with the basics because it's, it's all I know. I'm just basic. Kapai. Yeah. Cool, cool. Oh, just, just on that and about the numbers and that, um, someone was saying, what's the use of that? And I said, oh, nothing really. But um, uh, when I get a chance and when I get a break, I started doing a, a, a numbers and a, um, a numbers and a colours one. And I made, a, um, I made a resource, you know, based on like those primary colours that the Atarangi uses. But what I find sometimes with the tamariki, um, you know, you got all those little things in the bubbles girls like, oh. So um, I, I've, I've made this, and I'll, I'll try and lean it to you so you can see, because you might want to make one. By the time I get around to making them and shipping them out to you, you'll be a hundred. You'll be able to count to a hundred. But the reason I've done it like this, because uh, uh, I did a couple of models, you can probably see the other ones behind me. Um, but this one, just because a user friendly and to um, pass it round, pass it round to your, to your moko and that and then you know and can't swallow it all at once and like that but I'm gonna do um, a 10 day a 10 day um, all to do primary to do with numbers and colors and corresponding colors so um, I started doing it when I first started uh, doing this six months ago and then I got caught up with doing I took off on the kareki and now the kimai five but I'm gonna come back to it and we'll do We'll do one um, for our whānau, or do, do a good one for you and your whānau and um, make some resources and send it out to you, okay? Yeah, aroha mai, sorry I'm going all over the place. What's new? Uh, then, and then we, so we did our kiwaha, then we did our kianga, and really uh, just taking the waiata, but um, you're starting to grow now just using that, that concept and put it in like in a sentence. Kotahi te rākau, because you've learnt he te me ngā. There's only one, there's only e here ngā rākau whānau. Kotahi te rākau. And you're starting to get like subliminal learning. You get taking stuff on board you don't realise. How many legs? E rua. 
Nga wai wai. For what? Mō te aha. Mō te hikoi. Ka pai. So you guys would have started doing that and building a sentence and taking that from one of the waiata from the whānau. But still, hey, it's there to you. So use it and share it. Sing it. When I first went to the Atarangi and that, to tell the truth, oh, my, my kayako was to te umu. And I was like always hiding in the corner, like you are now. And um, I thought, I was like, I didn't, I didn't want to get up and start marching around and start singing. I for tuhi tuhi, it's given me discipline on the macrons. Awesome, brother. Awesome. Awesome. And we need that. You'll be grateful. You'll be grateful. Look, because you brought that up, I'm just going to say, yeah. If you're learning te reo, I believe the macrons are really instrumental in helping you get your sounds in that. In due course, you'll, you'll get what I mean, if you haven't already. It'll help regulate the flow of your kōrero. Yeah. And, and from now on, be mindful of them. Don't try and read a sentence and pretend they're not there because your, your, your sentence will like lose its mm -hmm. wairua. Kapai, and it's you know, and it's flow and, and it's texture. Cool, good one, Raneda. Good on you all. And I know you're all doing some, you're probably hiding somewhere out there, Miriama, but I know you've been doing a lot of writing. Good work. You fellas saw how much I wrote on there? It's all right. Haven't had a sleep yet. <laughs> but I want, I want you to take it, like my kayako told me one time, says, Oh, Timu. Don't, don't just leave the man on there. So whatever I'm sending you, I, I, it's awesome. I can see people eliminating and, and taking it off. And all I ask, all I ask for you, all I want for it, is would you please take it now and rewrite it. Rewrite it into your puka iti. And do it hakri and scruffy, it doesn't matter. There's five glued on each one. Only five cents, cuz. <laughs> Just keep writing, keep writing. Oh, what are we supposed to do today? Oh, write it out again. But like what my old man says about karakia. Karakia, karakia, karakia. And then when you're sick of it, more karakia, karakia, karakia. Well, the same goes for your writing and your macarons and your tohu to. Write it in the puka iti. And then when you got it, say, oh, yeah, I can write that better. Then write it in your, um, the, the puka, the puka tuhinga. I think Ropata stole it, took it home. Staff, staff who didn't get paid. <laughs> All good? Kianga. Let's move on. Bloody hell, the time. Whakatoki, Whakatoki. <coughs> This week's, oh, this week's Whakatoki. Anyone remember what it was? Just try to use a number in there. Yeah, possible. <laughs> oh, you fellas are going to get it when I get around there. Um, whakatoki. Kamate. Remember how we talked about balance in earlier on tonight? Kamate he kainga tahi. Ka ora he kainga rua. What did you just come up with? Remember how I said I'm not telling you the answer? And what I wanted you to do, and if you haven't, was write it out three times so you get used to writing it. And then then try and look up on Google and uh, run it. I know you had a look on Google. That's good. That's how you're going to learn. Um, but maybe before you do, look at it and try and, try and like me, you work it out for yourself. Kamate he tahi. Ka ora he kainga rua, and don't, don't, don't be whakamā to write what you think it says. And then, and then, then go and look it up. Hurry up, hurry up someone, tell me. What did you come up with? Don't leave me waiting, hurry up. <laughs> what did you come up with? Ka mate he kainga tahi, ka ora he kainga rua. It's good to have one house in Australia and two in Aotearoa. <laughs> well, that's a good idea too. 
there's that's uh, working on your um, your financial situation. That's awesome. Yeah, so there's lots of different. Yeah, there's lots of different um, things for it. You fellas a hard case for not writing. <laughs> but oh hey, remember, okay, I'll take it back to basics. Remember when I talked about at the beginning at the pa, how we born into that pa, and uh, let's take it right back to there. Do you think our people just had one pa? Do you just say, oh, this is a nice place. We'll build a pa here on the bank of the Waikato River, right here, nice and handy, so we can get some tuna. Do you think they only had one house? Or what do you reckon? What about if a flood came? Or what about down the sea if the big seas came and, and they can live there all the time, but then the sometimes, what do you reckon? And I, I, I believe, no, that I, I don't know because I wasn't there, but I believe they would have had several pa. When there's peaceful times and it's safe to be there and, and do that and, and the tuna are running or whatever and they'll be there. But then what about when the, the hoa, when their friends, their hoa, when they get angry and they become their hoa ready and they start chasing them. You need another another place, a stronghold, a part to wata wata. So I don't know, for me that was about having strategies. Strategies. Let's change change it from that and let's just say, hey, one year we planted some kumara over here. And then next year it wouldn't grow there. So we need to find another place and move around. Kamate he kainga tahi, kaore he kainga rua. And they grew better up here this year. And let that one rest. Whatever. I want you to think of three different instances. One door closes, another door opens. Hey, Timu, what are you doing over here? I thought you were over here. Oh, kamate he kainga tahi, kaore he kainga rua. Just different things will happen in your life. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Tumeke. Kia ora, Raniera. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, I tried that. It didn't work. Ka mate he kainga tahi, ka ora he kainga rua. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with having a house. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, don't be afraid. Um, keep trying. Yeah, I tried that today, but that didn't work. I'll try that tomorrow. Ka mate he, even I like that, like Raniera saying different ideas. Kapai Fano, so I know you I know you get the picture. But how about for your homework, you try and think of three different contexts uh, to apply that. Don't get stuck in the thing of thinking it's just to do with mate and order. But um, totally just like that. Just be open minded. And there's a simple one. One door closes, another opens. Don't don't be afraid to make mistakes. Keep trying things. Yeah, and make heaps of mistakes or try heaps of options. Shivers the time. Waiataki naki, kotahi rako. Oh, that was tino pai. To be honest, I learnt all those back with the, my kids and that, and they all went up to Te Reo Maioha back in the day, and we, we um, worked with uh, Perenara and Kare and all the whanau up there at Te Reo Maioha and Ōtaki. And they were, they were part of the, the, the bigger whanau of Te Atarangi. And oh, his his nephews, man, they were like they were nearly as mischief as me, but they were awesome. It was our uh, Taniora and Pudere and lots of others too. Lots of other Koyakoa, Piri Fariki, there was like heaps. Oh, it was so much fun and they were they were the bomb at singing. And I started to say earlier that I wouldn't join in. But then eventually my, my Koyako threw me in the middle and made me start singing. But but, it, but now you notice, and I come on here, I don't mind singing. Because in those simple songs, so much to learn. And it's all part of helping put down the whakamā. Ko tahi rāka, moke moke. You know, don't be too shy and that'll help you get rid of your whakamā. So kāpai, that was our waiata. Rest and recovery. I don't know about rest and recovery, but... um. That's just how those videos end up now, like today. Was it today's one? Yesterday. Yesterday's one, eh? Whakarau ora. Revitalization. Rest and recover. 
um, ten or pie. Hopefully you're getting something out of it. I'm trying to keep them um, fun and upbeat and uh, for the for the kids and the fano. But there's all sorts of fano jumping on board fano from from kids to like me, like big kids. But uh, cool fano, you jump in here. No, no one knows who else is on here with us. Just come in and, and join uh, the thing that you're joining with me and. Just jump on board and I'll send you what I can to help. That's us and then our live stream tonight. Kapai. Got 10 minutes. Um, I don't know if you have had enough. Just sing out. But uh, I just want to make sure I caught all your questions. Don't be afraid. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest, um, yeah, no excuses, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and try and pump out, pump out some more tonight for uh, next week. Really liking how it's rolling out. It was a great idea when I had it, but mm -hmm. now trying to um, trying to make it happen. That's another thing. But no excuses, because I wanna, I wanna do it because I'm getting so much back out of it from you guys. Seeing people do it. Kapai. So yeah, got a new concept for next week. Um, well, for in the morning. Aroha mai for those of you getting up early and I haven't quite made it, but I'll, I'll, I'll go tonight and at least uh, get the first one up and then I've got the rest of the week to try and get the rest together. But uh, yeah, keep it up. Oh, I'm just going to, I'm just, I haven't looked on here funny because it helped me think about stuff. Hey, um, how are the, how are the PDFs and how are the e-books? Are you, are you finding the e-book uh, working for you? The idea is that in time you won't have to literally go to YouTube and look at you just follow your book. Have you have you worked out how they're working? Then eventually I'll just put it um, each week into its own playlist and then you can just go and find that playlist and then just go down there and take out of it what you want. Um, any any experiences or um, with with that? Is it working for you? I don't know if you realise you can um, download it to your phone and then um, then it's like you've always got your workout uh, with you. Yeah, that's the idea there anyway. You fellas stop going quiet on me. I'll sack you. <laughs> cool. And my mate, my mate, uh, he, he watching the Europa. He's going to come down, and we're going to try and work out a way to um, uh, to get to get our live stream a little bit more happening, so we can be a little bit more um, interactive. But yeah. Um, just be aware tomorrow that as each week rocks along, um, um, for those who weren't with us through the Karakia challenge, that each week also. We start with a new karakia, and it's the same thing, just uh, week one to ten. And um, you'll you'll see that I usually do that on a Monday, but then take that on board too and write it out, and learn that karakia. Just just learn what you can of it. Just for the heads up, tomorrow one, tomorrow's one, and I, I I'm I'm trying to keep the number sequence and everything in there, so you, eventually you'll learn them. And when we got twenty. You'll be able to just go Karakia, Tekau Marima, uh, Awe Maria, <laughs> whatever it is. So tomorrow Karakia Tuatoru, and it's called a we called it our Welcome the Fruits, and then the Maori No Mai Ngahua. Don't be shy to say the English. That's my that's my contribution. What I want to tell you is most. A lot of times I probably get thrown off the marae for saying it in English, but I'll run a risk of getting chucked off again to say karakia tuatoru, welcome the fruits, no mai ingahua. Yeah, just to lay the sentiment down and not, you know, even some of our whanau, they we don't all know what we're saying sometimes. And I know that karakia has been developed and shared um, uh, solely for um, kai purposes but I also want you to just take on board that take on board this I'm not saying it isn't but take on board this one day someone's going to tap you on the shoulder and say hey fire hey bro can you do a karakia for this 
And then when that time comes, you'll have all these karakia to do, maybe 10 or maybe 20 or how many. But your wairua, not any person, not any uh, preempted thing, your wairua will tell you which one to do. And don't be surprised, like what happened to me just recently, when you're standing somewhere else, I was standing at a tangi, and then I did that, then I did that karakia. And then don't be afraid to work with the wairua. Don't think, oh, I'll get told off. Just do it. The wairua is never wrong. All right? Tino pai ngā mahi e rā i bok matu. Oh, kapai, kapai e hoa. Yeah, if you get any ideas where I can improve on that, uh, let me know. But but thank you. I think in due course when we get a few, when you get a few pages up your sleeve, and just think when you get halfway five, and there's been about six to seven videos a week, that would be 30 videos. And imagine trying to find which one you're up to. But when you follow your ebook, Tino Pai, and the ebook will keep you relative in with the thread or the theme of what you're studying at that time. So, kia ora Raniera and kia ora everyone for your tautoko. Yeah, so, don't forget that about the karakia. No mai ngā hua, o te wā, o te ngākina tomorrow, and practice that all week. Remember what I said, it's not just only like having a karakia to God, and, and it can be if that's what it is for you. But it's uh, the karakia, there's a tikanga and everything, and now people, they didn't just, uh, just say to say these are our rules and regulations. There's always a tikanga within the tikanga. And sometimes you don't have to know what it is, but it's good practice, the karakia, to awaken you up. That's what that's about. Waken your koro koro. So you like like the komako. And the komako e ko, but us, we use our koro koro and our voice box too. But our thing is ko rero rero. Ko rero 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 rero. <laughs> and that's what the karakia does. It wakens up, gets rid of all the mare mare, and it wakens up your hiningaro. And your tinana, your ngako, your ngako mahaki, your whole way to So, you fellas, any last questions? My favorite karakia, kafai hu hana. I don't know if you if you did it if you heard me about uh food area and tiny order, but I, I think that's where I met you at Paratafiti. Paratafiti, and I think that's another flower down by uh, Lake Horofenua. I think I could be wrong. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Ka fai fai hu hana. And thank you for bringing your, um, your, your whanaunga on board with us on, on the Kimai 5. Hopefully uh, you're getting something out of that. And nice to see you here too, uh, Fire. Well, I reckon we better call it a day. Oh, we're we're going we're gonna to sing the Waiata um, Hutea Terito. You wanna sing the you wanna sing the the one we did at the beginning or the other version that we did today? <laughs> Hurry up! You want the raku raku or you want the a cappello? <laughs> Hurry up! Hurry up! Rofata! <sighs> right, it's all your fault. We're gonna do both. <laughs> we'll do two. And that's it. Because what if you go to the marae and you're doing your thing and then someone sings your song and you go, oh, okay, I'll, I'll sing it the other way then. So we'll just do that, eh, for a laugh and to finish off, and to finish off with the whakatauki that, um, that we started with. And um, I'll just rock it out. And um, thanks thanks to everyone today. Thanks for all the bros that come to Te Reo Korowai uh, and, 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 and made these... Uh, made these taonga, they're like a taonga to me, I treasure them and I value, I can see how much work went into it, brother, yeah, so hu te and I taught them that, 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 that tune today, all my tunes are flat, but let's do both tunes, uh, one, one with the guitar, one without, and then we'll do the whakatauki, and that's our karakia, um, all together tonight, ka pai whanau, hu te, hu, Oh, cause I've been singing it on here, it's different, eh? Hu te a te rito. There's our rangi. 
Here we go. Who te a te ri to? Who te a te ri to o te hara ke ke kai hea? Kai hea te ko ma ko e ko ki mai ki a ha. He a ha te me a nui, he a ha te a me a nui o te ao. Ma ku e ki atu, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata e. Hopefully you got that one. Well, this is going to be funny, eh? You go from one tune to the other. Ooh, yeah, that's us. Pahi, ua, toru, ha. Ooh, tea, te, rito, rito. O te, hara, keke. Ooh, ya, mai. Ooh, ya, mai, kwe, ya, au. He, ya, ha. He, ya, ha, te, me, nu, we. O te ao Ma kue ki atu He tangata, he tangata, he tangata Ano U te a te rito, rito O te hara keke U ia mai ki ao He a ha te me nu O te ao Ma kue ki atu He tangata, he tangata, he tangata He tangata, he tangata, he tangata Let's go together whānau Hūtea te rito o te harakeke Kei hea te koma ko e ko Ki mai ki a hau, hei a hau te mea nui o te ao, mā ku e ki atu, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. Te umu, please sing in tune. Oh, the way out of part is the only part I don't do matua, because I'm so flat, it's shocking. Kārea is, it's shocking, I've waiata along in my mahunga. Awesome! Sing it out loud in your head. <laughs> that's the one. Don't worry about it. Be like me. Like that's why I come on here to show you to, it's all right. And like like Rani Ita says, make heaps of mistakes. Sing flat. Put yourself out on a limb sometimes. But we're all here to support each other. But thank you for that comment and thank you all for your contribution tonight. Uh, Mauri ora, po Marie, have a good moi moi. Yeah, and um, someone better get the videos ready for tomorrow. Po mari e whanau. Thanks for everything. Ka kite a te rawiki. Po mari e. Turn me off. Yes.